and thank you for choosing the NA523 series Delta II High-Low Thermostatic Mixing Valve Assembly. This quick installation tip video will help you get started with the installation of your high-low thermostatic mixing valve, but before you get too far, when you open the box, the first thing you should find is going to be a nice set of installation instructions, so be sure to read them. The Delta II is a complete thermostatic mixing valve assembly designed for domestic hot water applications requiring a broad range of flows. For example, it can control accurately flows anywhere between 1 and 50 gallons per minute. This video is going to cover installation and commissioning of the assembly, but before we get too far, let's go over the assembly and what it consists of. So let's start at one end of the assembly and work our way to the other. At this end, you're going to have your cold inlet as well as your hot inlet from your hot water source. From there, these are going to be one inch connections that you can easily press a fitting to or sweat a fitting to. Next, you're going to have your thermostatic mixing valves. You're going to have a 521 series, which is going to be your small mixing valve for the lower flows. And then you're going to have your 5231 series mixing valve for the higher flows. You'll also notice that on each of the cold inlets, you will have a check valve to prevent thermal siphoning and migration of heat. As we move down the assembly, you are going to have a pressure reducing valve. This is going to be a 535 series pressure reducing valve, this is what controls flow through the high flow thermostatic mixing valve, the 5231 series. After that, you are going to have two isolation ball valves. These are going to help with not only isolating down the system if you need to, but it helps you with commissioning of the system as well, and we'll get into that in a little bit. From there, you're going to have an outlet temperature gauge. This is a high quality gauge that it is in a wet well, uh, so it's going to give you very accurate temperature readings and the outlet here is going to be an inch and a quarter. Again, you can either sweat a fitting to it or press on a fitting as well. As you can see, the whole assembly is mounted to Unistrut, so that will make your job a little bit easier when mounting it on the job site. So now let's talk about installation. First of all, the unit has to be mounted indoors. It cannot be mounted outdoors. Next, there's really no limitations on its orientation. It can be mounted in vertical or horizontal pipe. About the only limitation you're going to have is that the PRV, the pressure reducing valve, the body of the pressure reducing valve has to be above the pipe that it's mounted in. And this will prevent debris from getting inside the pressure reducing valve and limiting its operation. When it comes to mounting the assembly, make sure to grab a friend as it is rather bulky. From there, you can use standard lag bolts to mount it to wood or any type of an anchor, depending on your application and your surface. Next, you're going to make your sweat connections at the inlets as well as the outlet, and you're going to open up flow and check for leaks. Now let's go through the commissioning process. The first thing you'll need is your domestic hot water source to be up and running, and you're going to want to choose a desired mixed outlet temperature. For example, if you wanted to choose 120 for your desired mixed outlet temperature out of the assembly, you're going to want to make sure that your domestic hot water source is roughly about 25 degrees hotter than that. So you're going to need it to be roughly about 145. And the first thing we're going to do is set up our small thermostatic mixing valve in the assembly. So what we're going to do is isolate off the large thermostatic mixing valve and the pressure reducing valve using the isolation valve in the assembly. Next, we're going to open the appropriate amount of fixtures to get roughly two to four gallons per minute. That two to four gallons per minute is the sweet spot for the small thermostatic mixing valve. And from there, you're going to set the small thermostatic mixing valve to roughly 10 degrees lower than your desired mixed outlet temperature. So in this case, if we're using 120, we're going to adjust the knob while you have that two to four gallons per minute of flow to, until we achieve 110 degrees at the outlet temperature gauge. Mind you, we are setting the small thermostatic mixing valve lower than the desired mixed outlet temperature specifically for the commissioning process. And we'll change it back later. And I'll go over the reasons behind it in a little bit. Next, we're going to set the mixed outlet temperature on the large thermostatic mixing valve. So we'll need to open up the isolation valve for that and close off the isolation valve for the small thermostatic mixing valve. From there, we're going to open the appropriate amount of fixtures to get roughly 12 to 14 gallons per minute of flow through the large thermostatic mixing valve. And at that point, you're going to use the knob to adjust it to the desired mixed outlet temperature. Now again, in this case, we're using 120, so make sure to get that dialed into exactly 120 per the outlet temperature gauge. And next, we're going to make adjustments to our pressure reducing valve. So while maintaining the 12 to 14 gallons per minute through the assembly, we're going to open up the isolation valve to the small mixing valve. At this point, you're going to have one mixing valve, the small one set to 110, and a large mixing valve set to 120. And what we want to do is adjust the pressure reducing valve to achieve roughly 112 to 114 degrees at the outlet temperature gauge on the assembly. 
at this point you know that the pressure reducing valve is opening just enough to cover the large pressure drop through the small mixing valve and at that point any more pressure drop it will open up further and allow more flow through the large thermostatic mixing valve. So now that we've set our pressure reducing valve we need to go back and set the mixed outlet temperature on our small thermostatic mixing valve. So we are going to dial back the amount of fixtures open uh, to get roughly that two to four gallons per minute again and then we're going to isolate off the pressure reducing valve and the large thermostatic mixing valve. Then we're going to use the knob to adjust your mixed outlet temperature on the small thermostatic mixing valve to 120 degrees. Then we're going to open up the isolation valves and you're all set. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, please be sure to contact your distributor, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.